Uh, hello, my name is Ernie Guerrero. I'm with the uh, Oil and Gas Business Development Unit. What we're showing here is a two-phase measurement with a Coriolis, uh, the Yokogawa Rotor Mass Meter. As you can see in the sight glass, we have entrained gas, okay? And if you look up top, what we're measuring is the gas void fraction, which is the amount of gas entrained in the oil. At this point, we have a 4.1% gas entrainment. And what we're doing is we calculate that gas entrainment and subtract it from your gross volume flow rate. And the subtraction of that percentage, we get a net oil flow, okay? From the net oil flow, we can get a net oil total. And at the end of the day, that's what the end users want to see, is just net oil without the gas. If we didn't have this gas void fraction calculation, we would have that percentage in our net oil total. So the end user would have 4.2% higher total than what is actually being measured. The, uh, the oil is being sent to holding tanks and they're getting the level measurement off of that tank. So if the tank level shows 100 barrels, but a meter that's not doing a gas void calculation would show 110 barrels that flow through the meter. Where's that extra 10 barrels at that they say flow through it? it, it's, it was, it's not actually there. It's a gas that was being calculated. So we're able to do a, a two-phase gas measurement and, and calculate that gas in the oil and subtract it from the net oil total. And that is actually what the end users want to see. The, uh, with, with this type of measurement, with the proper application, proper input data into our meter, we can get accuracies within 1% of the totals being calculated for the tank levels. Thank you.